Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel, a popular chart analyst who happens to, by the way, have a YouTube channel with about 1 million subscribers, almost there. Uh, he says that uh, XRP <laughs> uh, looks like it's ready to spike in terms of volatility and price. Don't be surprised if you end up seeing XRP sooner than later, closer to where it was in April, back up to that $2 price range. And, and also there's a different chart analyst uh, that I'll be highlighting towards the beginning part of this video who has high expectations of Bitcoin for this market cycle. And if, if his expectations become reality, um, I, I seriously will not be surprised if XRP uh, breaks $40. So uh, to be clear, though, I, I'm not saying I'm necessarily confident that Bitcoin's going to hit this level. But damn, if he's right, uh, the market moves in tandem. So anyway, uh, plenty to talk about. I've got opinions uh, in addition to that uh, from a few chart analysts. But uh, before going any further, I do want to be clear, I don't have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos all up on the internet uh, because it's a fun hobby, and that's all that's going on here. And, uh, and yes, indeed, volatility is your friend. Without vol Volatility is the reason we're here, right? Like, you, you do recognize that. And of course, we don't enjoy it when it comes to the downside, but uh, it, nothing goes up in a straight line forever. And so I don't mind it. I, I love that this is the most volatile asset class on, on the entire planet. Like that, that is why I'm here. That is why there's opportunity. If there were zero volatility, that would mean no price appreciation relative to the United States dollar or whatever you know, fiat currency you're interested in ultimately selling to. Uh, that doesn't sound ideal. <laughs> you know, I, don't want, I, don't want, I wouldn't want a piece of that. Um, now, as I record this, Market's looking pretty green today. Within the last 24 hours, XRP currently up 7.7% at $1.18. But wait a minute, wasn't it just at a buck oh five yesterday? Uh, I think it was yesterday, right? Uh, didn't that mean that it was time to sell because things were scary, scary, and it, it, it was probably going to keep going in that direction? Uh, human emotions, human emotions. Uh, Bitcoin's a little over $49,000. Market cap for the asset class above $2.1 trillion. Bitcoin dominance falling currently at 42.99%. Uh, as far as the crypto fear and greed index, which I've been uh, highlighting just about on a daily basis at this point because it's so fun to track. And it's worth being aware. Like the, the, these, these are the people you're betting against. Do you understand this, right? <laughs> These are your fellow market participants. Uh, well, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, as I record this, currently at 71 out of 100, indicating greed. Um, and now, uh, here, DIY Investing, one of the analysts that I was talking about in the intro of this video. Uh, he wrote the following. I found the most bullish Bitcoin fractal ever. $250,000 income. And so he's talking about Bitcoin price being... This market cycle, much higher than it is is right now. And, and he's not the only analyst that thinks that it's, it's plausible to Bitcoin this market cycle could get to those types of levels. Um, I won't pretend to know if that's uh, what's probable or not. Uh, I, I don't think it's impossible because crypto is completely insane. It really is, seriously. I mean, the, the, I'll tell you what, the people uh, that were participating in the market in early 2017 when Bitcoin was around 1000 bucks. I don't think that necessarily most of them were anticipating that by the end of the year it'd be worth like $20,000. So you never know for sure. But th there's something I wanted to say on this. Because look, th the idea of Bitcoin getting up that price level at some point in the future, even if it's a subsequent market cycle, that doesn't sound crazy to me. This market cycle, eh, don't pretend to know. But if, if DIY investing is right here, what do you think that means for XRP? Because consider this, last market cycle... Uh, if you take a look at Bitcoin's peak and XRP's peak in terms of, you know, the, the, the highest price for, for the last market cycle, of course, the, they didn't happen at the same time. Bitcoin peaked first. But if you just compare the tops for both of those, uh, you, you'll note that XRP's market cap ended up getting to about uh, about half of what Bitcoin's was. And Ethereum did the same thing. Like Ethereum and XRP, they pretty well matched each other. And it wasn't, and it wasn't all at the same time. And so if you're talking about Bitcoin hitting you know, even 200000 let's just say $200,000 this year. If, if that happens, you're talking about a market cap of $3.74 And I've been saying the whole time we run this channel, like the idea of having multi-trillion dollar crypto assets to me just seems like an inevitability. Um, I've never slapped a timeline on that. I've never pretended to know for sure which cryptocurrencies would hit such a status. But it, it seemed weird to me that as you continue to see maturation within the asset class, of course that's going to happen at some point, right? 
And so you, if this happens with Bitcoin, again, $200,000 this year, or, or this market cycle, the $3.74 trillion market cap, roughly. And so if XRP um, hits its high, uh, this market cycle, and its market cap ends up being half of that, not even the whole thing, just like last last, last market cycle, it got up to half last market cycle. Let's say it does, does that again. Um, the, the XRP would be worth uh, over $40 at that point. I, I mean... I mean, you're talking about close to a $1.9 trillion market cap for XRP. And with the craziest, most exciting fireworks uh, yet ahead, because that's what happens at the tail end of this market cycle, uh, I'm not ruling it out. I, I don't know that it's necessarily likely, so it's not like I'm overly getting my hopes up here. But yes, if Bitcoin goes that high, because think, here's the reason, here's a primary reason, there are a number of reasons, but money cycles through. So money starts at the top in many cases, just investors, for whatever reason, they just are, money flocks into Bitcoin, and then when people have sufficient profit, they take it out of that, and then they put it into other coins that have not yet pumped. That's just what happens. And so the more money flows into Bitcoin and the higher the prices, that does also mean, I believe, uh, the prices for XRP or any cryptocurrency that you're looking at are going to be that much higher. So we'll see. I hope he's correct. I really hope that he's correct. And it's not like it's guaranteed, but he's just saying that uh, this is this is in the cards. And if you want the, the, the technical reasons, I encourage you to check out uh, DOI Investing's YouTube video where he broke down the specifics of why. I just don't want to rehash this, his whole video, uh, but it's interesting. I encourage you to, to check it out. Um, and then there was this. Uh, somebody asked Chart Analyst Credible Crypto the following. Any concerns that HBAR doesn't really get noticed or move during this cycle? Could we be waiting till next cycle possibly, or are you still confident? And so the reason I want to highlight this tweet, and I'll, I'll read Credible Crypto's answer to that in just a second here. The reason I want to highlight that is because there are people that hold every coin on the planet that are going to be asking that question. And here's my, my answer. Here's what I suspect is going to be the case. And this is not me telling you to buy or sell or hold anything. Do whatever you want. But I think that every coin is going to pop. Every single mid and large cap coin, uh, perhaps even every small cap coin, maybe there could be a few exceptions. Uh, but that, that's what happened last market cycle. And so if you're sitting around wondering, as you see other coins begin to pop off and go par parabolic, you're like, oh, mine's not doing it though. Is, is mine going to? Um, if, if you're holding a cryptocurrency that hasn't gone parabolic and you're wondering if it's going to get, go parabolic, uh, you know, your coin specifically, to me, the answer is Yes, <laughs> because the market moves in tandem and the, I'll tell you, the money's going to cycle through everything. And it doesn't mean that's guaranteed. I'm just saying to me, that's what seems probable. That's what happened last time. It wasn't about fundamentals. It was about uh, taking advantage uh, monetarily it's, it's to, to the degree that the market could. Like, people did it. I, I mean, everything popped off. Every chart looked the same. It really did. Um, and, and so that's what I would anticipate. And so Credible Crypto wrote, uh, nope, no concerns at all. Charts look great. We are, in my opinion, basically where we were when Bitcoin was consolidating above $6,000 before it broke to $14,000, then $20,000 and rallied to $60,000. And so look, again, it's not about fundamentals. Is mine going to do it? The market isn't, the market doesn't look at your coin that you're concerned about any differently than any other coin. You got to realize that. So if you're asking if it's going to pop, like how, how could the answer be no? <laughs> I just, I don't find that likely. It's my humble opinion. Uh, here's a tweet from chart analyst Michael Vandepop who wrote, Bitcoin dominance still trending down and following the path. I'm expecting further continuation on the downside to happen. Which, by the way, isn't bad because even if you're seeing price appreciation for Bitcoin, if the dominance is decreasing, that just means that altcoins are outpacing it, which is what happened last market cycle, especially towards the tail end. Bitcoin dominance got down to about 35%. Uh, I think that's going to happen again. And chart analysts uh, tend to agree, including Credible Crypto, who thinks that Bitcoin dominance this market cycle is probably going to uh, go even lower, probably below 30%. And I would suspect part of the reason if that indeed happens is because there's even more coins to put money in and more opportunities for other coins to go parabolic. Uh, and so then there was this. There's this headline from Crypto News Flash. Top seven altcoins that are about to pop. Crypto Enthusiast Reveals. And um, and so this uh, is uh, the article that's covering um, a YouTube channel called Altcoin Daily, you may have heard of. 947,000 YouTube subscribers. And uh, so here's the analyst, Aaron Arnold, who put out a video. He's talking about various coins, but I I including XRP. And, and he said, quote, XRP is on the verge of a 30% price move. XRP looks ready to spike in volatility. Yes, and so I keep, this is the message I keep hearing from all sorts of people, even if it looks like it's uh, not doing that much right now. Yeah, 
fine, that's the truth until suddenly it isn't. <laughs> you know, things happen uh, very quickly in crypto. And XRP, historically, when it goes, my gosh, it has shown that it really goes here. So if you're talking about that type of upward price action, that would put XRP closer to that $2 mark, which we saw in April. And eventually, though, it is going to hit its all-time high. I'm here for the volatility. I just got to be a little bit patient here, but uh, I'm excited for it. This is going to be the most exciting uh, uh, Time to, to be in crypto uh, in the entire history of crypto. What, what's coming up here, that's what's going to happen. It's going to put the last market cycle to shame. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Um, so, so there we are. You let me know what you think below, but that's the quick price update for today. Uh, markets markets up. Uh, we, you know, we're still we're still ranging around that fifty thousand dollar level until Bitcoin breaks. You know, maybe you'll see a coin here and there go parabolic. And we've we've seen some like I've been talking about in recent days. You know, hit their all time highs and smash through them. It's been interesting what Cardano has been doing, for example, and then there's Solana and Luna. So like there are a handful of them out there. But you just wait when Bitcoin really goes. <laughs> that's when the fireworks are gonna start. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. So that would be a very 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 bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo!